Africa Rise Addressing the Gender Dimensions of Rice Research and Development As part of the CGIA, a research program on rice, known as the Global Rice Science Partnerships, GRISP, the Africa-wide Task Force on Gender in Rice Research and Technology Development Task Force, was actively involved in a research project on gender and climate change in stress-prone rice environments in Asia and Africa. A workshop to synthesize and draw lessons from the findings of this research was held 6th to the 10th of May, 2013, at Africa Rice, Benin. The participants discussed strategies to strengthen capacities for conducting research on gender issues and integrate gender into rice research and technology processes. They also developed 2013 to 2014 work plans for the African component of the GRISP gender strategy. Key gender focal points, as well as researchers involved in mainstreaming gender in rice research and development from the national programs in Africa, the International Rice Research Institute, URI, and Africa Rice attended. Rita Agbono Ameshi, Gender Task Force Coordinator from Africa Rise, Benin summarized. After the launching of the, work, uh, of the task force in 2011, we have the opportunity to have some resources to conduct studies in four selected countries. We have Nigeria, Benin, Senegal and Uganda, just to look at the effects of climate change on gender roles and livelihood sustainability. Uh, this research was done in the four countries, and since we have 14 countries in the task force, it is good for us to sit down and review this uh, research, to review the research, to discuss the findings, and then to see, to look at the implication for our research work and to decide on the next step. About the climate change, what we discover is that men and women perceive the climate change. They know what is climate change. They know that it's getting too hot. They know that they are having flooding. They know that it's getting too dry. They know that the, the crops are suffering from drought. That one was clear in their mind. But the way they feel it, that's different because when it's really tough, the husband can leave the house and leave the wife and the family behind. Thelma Paris, gender specialist from Uri, Philippines, said. The challenge is how can we help them? Because we know that they suffer more than men based on our findings. But there are many climate-ready uh, technologies that Uri and Africa Rice have developed. For example, we have the drought-tolerant rice varieties, we have the submergence uh, tolerant rice varieties like Swarna sub one. We also have many uh, rice varieties for uh, salinity and sodic soils, aside from the other varieties which uh, can be used for in areas where the problem of heat or, 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 or cold temperature. But the problem is that these technologies do not reach the women because of this cultural perception that the women are not farmers and that uh, they, you know, they don't need these technologies. But if we provide these women with these technologies, we provide them not only the techn technical knowledge in improved farming practices, but also the varieties that they, uh, they need particularly in times of stresses. Alice Jean Adyig, national focal person from INRAB, Benin commented. Ayant plus de surface cultivable en blavé en riz que les femmes, lorsque le changement climatique, lorsque le stress fait que la, la récolte ne donne pas bien, ils arrivent à réduire, par exemple, la superficie qu'ils emblavent. La saison suivante, ils vont réduire Ils vont faire peut-être un état au lieu de quatre l'année passée parce qu'ils sentent que le changement climatique va leur causer des problèmes. Mais les femmes n'ayant que peut-être un déni état et des fois beaucoup, beaucoup moins, ne peuvent pas, n'ont plus rien à diminuer étant donné que c'est déjà petit. Donc euh, il y a ces petits exemples-là qui prouvent qu'ils ne peuvent pas s'adapter de la même manière. 
Et les femmes, lorsqu'elles veulent s'adapter aussi, et laissent complètement des fois à l'agriculture, elles vont faire, elles vont chercher des crédits pour pouvoir faire de petits commerces. Donc ça fait que il y a, ça fait un manque à gagner pour elles parce que c'est quand même l'agriculture qui est leur première source de, de revenus. Donc euh, cette étude fait que euh, les politiques doivent utiliser ce genre de résultats pour pouvoir euh, et savoir qu'on ne peut pas donner des on ne peut pas faire sortir des politiques, des règles, des lois et neutres selon le genre. Il faut savoir que la société est catégorisée pour ne pas dire genre et que il faut tenir compte donc des perceptions des uns et des autres. Grace Ball Free RQ, National Focal Person from Crop Research Institute, Ghana told Now we have climate variability. The rains are not coming as it should. So these women do not have the expected yield as they should. And even when it comes to uh, weeding operations, with the climate variability, now we have nauseous weeds that are difficult to control weeds that are emerging. So that now this workshop has given me an insight And of course, my background as a weed scientist really probe, probe, ask probing questions that will come out with the real needs of women. And even when it comes to men, we have the age brackets. Certain type of um, age brackets will need certain issues addressed separately so that we don't come out with, as researchers, we don't come out with this blanket recommendation that leads to low adoption. Marie Antoinette Haba, National Focal Person from Iraq, Guinea, remarked. Le thème de l'intégration du changement climatique et le, euh, et le genre dans les programmes de recherche, cette activité a été menée par quatre pays en 2012. J'ai dit le Bénin, l'Ouganda, le Nigeria et le Sénégal. Donc l'atelier nous a permis de partager l'information sur cet aspect de changement climatique et genre qui a l'étude qui a été conduite dans les quatre pays. Donc nous, nous avons partagé leurs informations, ils ont présenté les résultats de leur étude. Et vraiment, c'est des informations qui nous ont permis quand même de faire, parce que là, on a fait un plan d'action par rapport à des thèmes de recherche que nous avons identifiés par pays. Et ce, ce, ces informations nous ont permis de faire des, des notes conceptuelles sur des thèmes de recherche. Dorothy Mello, National Focal Person, from Iran, Cameroon observed. Like for the past 10 years in Cameroon, this, this climate variability, the women don't know when to do land preparation, they don't even know when to plant, because the time, the, the usual time they know, especially for upland rice, has changed. And then at times they waste a lot of money, time to plant, and then at the end of the day they have to repeat it because the, the, the rain did not fall at, as expected. So a study that we carried out in early April, that's we did the PRA for the drought prone zone, it showed us that they, are, they, are, they lost as much as 100% in some cases in rural drought area of their product. Because when they don't have seed again to repeat, imply that year they don't even have Uh, uh, anything for food, so their field is completely dry. But some of them approve the recent varieties that were introduced, like the Nerica. They approve that those varieties, those Nerica, are drought tolerant, and uh, they notice that even though the rain could not, if it germinates and the rain does not come early, it can resist for one month. When the rain comes, at least they get some harvest. So that was quite impressive. Maimana Yandor, sociologist from Africa Rise, Senegal said. En plus de cela, nous essayons de leur doter aussi de, de semences adaptées au changement climatique. Nous avons fait, euh, dans le cadre des activités du GRISP, une euh, étude sur le changement climatique, genre et changement climatique avec l'IRI en Asie et en Afrique. Et il est ressorti dans les résultats que sont, beaucoup de les femmes sont vulnérables, surtout dans le pluvial plus vulnérable au changement climatique parce que culturellement, traditionnellement, la riziculture était réservée à ces femmes-là. Même s'il y a la compétition des femmes, des hommes plutôt maintenant, mais ça reste a priori une activité euh, des femmes.
Donc, euh, à la suite des résultats que nous avons obtenus de cette étude, nous sommes en train de voir à travers l'atelier que nous sommes en train de, de, de faire ici aujourd'hui, comment faire pour valoriser ces résultats, comment faire pour doter ces femmes de, 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 de variétés tolérantes à ces stress-là pour booster leur production et lutter une fois de plus, parce que c'est le but de toutes nos activités, contre la féminisation de la pauvreté. John Morera, see the project coordinator from Africa Rise, Benin explained. So far we are already designed equipment which women can use. Uh, in production you have to make differences between individual farmers and group farmers. For individual farmers we are already designing weeders which they can use, line markers, okay. In the groups, we are having this acid pressure, which they can use eh, easily. The combined harvest uh, is made for when and, uh, men and women. And we are working a lot on byproduct, you know, from rice, from husk, and all that are going to help, you know, women. We made a lot of new equipment in post-harvest at the CEDAR project which we are going to disseminate in all countries. For more information, please visit www.africarise.org.